On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hands, two turtle doves and a partridge. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Five golden rings Four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree Day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six keys to lane, five golden rings, four golden birds, three French hands, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans of swimming, six keys to lane, five golden rings, four golden birds, three. Hands to turtle dust and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine ladies waiting, eight maids of milk, and seven swans of swimming, six geese of laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle dust and a partridge in a pear tree. Tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Ten lords of leaping, nine ladies waiting Eight maids of milk and seven swans of swimming Six geese of laying, five golden rings Four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves And a partridge in a pear tree On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Eleven pipers piping, ten lords are leaping, nine ladies waiting, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hands, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords of leaping, nine ladies waiting, eight maids of milking, seven swans of swimming, six geese of laying, five golden rings, four golden rings. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a haul video for you guys, but the difference is today I'm actually going to decorate with all this stuff that I purchased and I am going to point out what I purchased as I go, go along with styling. That way you can actually see how I style it, but you won't get to see the finished result until after, oh, until the next video. So, all right, you guys, let's get started. Happy holidays, y'all. Happy holidays, booze. I love you guys. The first item in my haul is this nine foot Victorman Duralite garland that I'm hanging on my mantle. And I had to get two because go big or go home. I like my mantle to have like this full draped look. Um, and initially I was gonna do a different look for my mantle, but then I changed my mind and was like, you know what, I'll just deal with the headache of all the flock stuff everywhere and just figure it out. So now I'm just gonna fluff it up and make it look super full and hope and pray that I can make this look like a million dollars because I'm not gonna lie, decorating a mantle is definitely a challenge for me. Quiet as it's kept, I actually decorated a mantle like three times in a row and took it down and hated it. So this is like t number four. <laughs> um, and and it's, it's such a challenge for me because I just can't deal with the busy look of mantles, like the clutter every day waking up to it. So styling a mantle with less ornaments and just something simple. I've not really seen much of that unless they're just like 
super minimalist and and that's a little too minimal for me but you know somewhere in between that would be more my style so i'm i'm new at mantles so cut me some slack when you see my mantles <laughs> last year i think i did okay with the pics stuck in there but this year i don't know we, we we got a challenge we have a challenge but let's do it so the garland's all up and i've cleaned up everything and the lights are shining beautifully this year you guys my theme is champagne mixed with diamonds mixed with ivory that's gonna be my theme this year so i selected picks branches ornaments everything with that theme in mind and if you haven't seen the store this is what i got it from this is what i got from that store in my last video if you haven't seen the shop with me video you need to pause this right now and go check it out because that store was absolutely incredibly breathtaking so I can only bring home a few things because it was definitely expensive and I'm gonna wait for their after Christmas sale to go and hit it up if you have no idea what I'm talking about it's my last video pause this video right now and go check it out we will be right here waiting for you when you come back okay just come on back and watch this one after you finish anyway you guys this is what I'm gonna use for my tree and my mantle look at the crystals on this branch so fabulous so cute you guys this is just so cute it's so adorable i'm gonna use this on my tree and the branches on my mantle as well as the top of my tree you would not believe how hard it is to find champagne color anything the color champagne for a candle for an ornament for a branch is very difficult to find you can find gold you can find silver but finding champagne that doesn't look brown is really really difficult to find so I found these at the same store along with the ivory which was so amazing and so unbelievably expensive as well that I'm gonna definitely hit up there after Christmas sale because I really want these I really want them so I was only limited to these um, but I'm gonna make them work and they are so gorgeous along with these bottle brush trees and these finials that are of course silver but they definitely work as well so I'm excited about this collection that I have, you guys, and I can't wait to start decorating, yay. After decorating mantle, you guys, I have to go take a shower and slip into some cozy, comfy pajamas and slippers, all because, I don't know if you know, dealing with flock snow on a tree as well as dealing with it on the mantle, your girl is definitely in need of a shower. And what better way to feel refreshed than putting on a pair of pajamas from a place that I found called Soma. Soma, I think I'm pronouncing it right, but they were right across from the Godiva store. OMG, I'm just saying, these. this is where Victoria's Secret left off. I walked into this pajama store and their pajamas are so soft and thick quality. Like their receipt even says, if you have a problem within like 180 days or something like that, you can bring your pajamas back. If you wash them and you mess them up or something, you can bring them back. And no, they did not sponsor this video, but I'm just saying to you guys that when I felt these pajamas, I was like, wow, the quality was just, it just sold me. I was sold. They are heavy and they feel like they would last a while and they're unique. It's a little busy, but it's festive, you know? Look at these, even the ornaments on the pajamas are classy. So I was like, I'm definitely getting these for myself because I, have, I don't have any pajamas that are Christmassy or holiday oriented except for the ones that look really cheesy so um, yeah I also picked up some slippers you guys I didn't pick these up from Soma Th these are actually purchased on Amazon I added the little snowflakes to them they look cute without the snowflakes but you know I had to be extra and make them look even more extra than they really are for my extra toes okay my cute toes but what whatever <laughs> So I'm gonna put these on and get me some food, you guys. And this, the haul is not over yet. You just stick around. I got stuff for you planned. I think I'm gonna slip into these gray ones for tonight, you guys. And the gray ones I actually purchased from Amazon. I did not get these from Soma, but the quality of these are just unbelievable as well. They are so soft and they're thick and heavy and not that cheesy feeling, weird type of satin material that you usually see on Amazon. These ones are actually a heavier and I really, really like that feeling. They actually paid attention to the detail of the front of the band and not just put elastic in the back and in the front and nothing. It's just, it's, it's, it just feels like a good quality. My only thing about these pajamas that I didn't like was they have like a little emblem crest thing on the shirt pocket and I'm not a fan of that. I'm just really not. And 
that part kind of bothers me a little bit, but not so much where I just didn't like to, like it. I actually really like these pajamas. I like the way the sleeves are made. I also like the way the pant legs are made. Um, so this is gonna be my outfit for tonight, and then we will do the Christmas ones during Christmas. I bought some really cute pajamas that I would love to share with you if you're interested in a pajama haul, let me know. So let's head over into my kitchen. I wanna take you guys into the kitchen and get you some food, get you fed with my new find that I just absolutely adore. This is the first time I'm actually using it on this haul right now with you guys and I was like, please Lord, let this work with these waffles because if this doesn't work, then I'm kinda gonna be embarrassed. But this was the first batch that came out and I've never made pancakes where the first ones actually turned out great. Even the instruction manual tells you, do not use the first waffle because it will not turn out. But au contraire, mon frere, mine came out so bomb. Look at this cute little mini waffle maker that I purchased you guys this thing is so holiday festive and adorable along with this plate um but these waffles though I've always wanted a waffle maker but I was just too like lame to just get one for myself and I actually gifted myself a waffle maker and decided to make me some waffles for dinner because have you ever had breakfast for dinner before it actually tastes pretty good only thing missing is some fried chicken but um I'm too tired after putting up that Christmas tree in the mantle so I think the fruit and the confectioner's sugar is just gonna have to do but this is another part of my haul, you guys. These are a home goods find. These little candle holder thingies that I hope are food safe because I really turned them into a food station. How cute are they? How cute are they? And this gingerbread house, yes, I did try to make a gingerbread house as well. Don't laugh at me because it's the first time I ever made one, but I tried to make her as cute and pretty as possible. She looks a little homely. <laughs> But I like my little pink house. It was the first time like I melted candy and I don't know what happened, but it's cute to me. So I'm just gonna let it sit up there proudly. Now don't stray too far, you guys, because my next video you do not wanna miss. It is the actual Christmas video for this year. And I am very proud of my decorations this year. And I know you're like, girl, you're doing another video? What? Don't you usually do a video a month? Yes! Well, guess what? Another one's coming up right after this one. Consider this my Christmas gift to you. And my final gift to you, you guys, is I will link all the products from my haul, or at least the ones that I can find, in the description area underneath this video for you. And that's it, you guys. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to share this video with your friends because sharing is caring. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!